first catalyst for good digestion is a nice low pH, that good acid pH. Uh, we need good hydrochloric acid to make that happen. So we need essentially hydrogen ions to bind to chloride in our gut. And so we need chloride from minerals. So we need good minerals, good quality sea salt. That helps make stomach acid on our own. Now, if we're under a lot of stress and our adrenal glands are in stress overdrive, could be cortisol high or low imbalances, um, as well as uh, adrenaline issues, right? Could be high or low cortisol stress issues. That could put us in a fight or flight state. And that sympathetic nervous system stimulus is going to negatively impact our body's ability to start with making stomach acid and digestive secretions. And of course, that stomach acid is almost like an antimicrobial. Think of like using lemon or apple cider vinegar as a natural cleaner, right? They recommend these online. You can make natural cleaners. Usually there's some kind of acid as the foundation of the formula because acids are antimicrobial. And so think of acids in your intestinal tract as being antimicrobial. They also kind of help tighten the sphincter, the esophageal sphincter from the stomach into the esophagus. Um, it gets tightened with good acidity. And so part of the reason why we get bloating and a lot of these gases rise up to the esophagus is inadequate levels of acidity. And that keeps the esophagus open. And then what happens when that esophagus is open over time, the fermentation acids that occur can actually eventually irritate the bottom of the esophagus because we didn't have enough acids to trigger that good closure in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. So then you'll get these what are called silent reflux issues. Sometimes it's called GERD. And once again, prescription drugs are what's the uh, the common remedy. But once again, it's not root cause. It may reduce the symptoms because if you have that backwash, it's going to help slow the backwash down, but it's not going to fix that sphincter. So we might come in with extra betaine hydrochloric acid or if you're extremely inflamed, which is rare that someone can't tolerate a low dose of it. But then we could do something like apple cider vinegar with a meal, sometimes bitters. I personally don't do bitters. I just do HCL and enzymes. Yeah, we can always test it with ginger. We can always test it with an acid like uh, lemon, lime, or apple cider vinegar. Start with a teaspoon of that mixed in a couple ounces of water and then kind of work our way up from there. So acidity is a really important first step. Of course, if we have inefficient in, uh, um, acidity levels, we can almost guarantee we're probably going to have poor enzyme levels and probably going to have poor bile uh, acid levels, right? Bile acids are important because they help break down fat. And bile acids are also slightly acidic, right, in the name bile acid. And it's also antimicrobial. So just like we talked about the acids having an antimicrobial benefit uh, on the HCL side, bile acids also have an antimicrobial benefit. And